my my prayers i like to be his coach the coach uh, it's all to reflect what happened for many many things many many days so we made a good good performance in the in the first half with enough chances to score a goal and clear chances and then actually in the in the beginning of the game with the rush and after what happened we don't we are not able to score a goal when they arrive once and score a goal and the second moment the second half score a second goal and that is so tough for the mentally for the players and we insist for a long time and i think it started the everton game at home when we missed two penalties and after it was a many many games when we create we are there we create the chances but we don't score and when they arrive and they punish a lot and after that, it's, it's tough for the players because, of course, with the 2 nil, uh, they defend nine players behind and use the counter-attack and everything can happen in the last minute is the last minute. So the consequence of the game is an uh, example of many games that happened that season. So you're saying it's been happening since the first time you played Everton. Why do you think it keeps happening, this inability to break teams down and then getting picked off? Uh, that is football. Football... You don't need to do sometimes many, many things to win the games or to do. So they arrive once and they score the goals. And before we were there many, many times for one penalty, for the action from David, for the action from Raj, for a, it was a once against once against goalkeeper. Uh, they, when they arrive, they score, and we are not able to do that. And it's not today, it was almost all the season. And it's tough for the players, it's tough to once again, once again handle that situation. Cherry, how hard do you think he's finding it to process this? Setback after setback for Manchester City. Very hard. You can see that he's fighting there to not obviously lose it because uh, obviously there is a season that's still uh, going. But uh, I don't think he will be happy with the second half. Yeah, I understand what he's saying that at the beginning they had some opportunities, that they considered the goal at the beginning of the second half. Worst time, obviously, to try to come back in the game. But they considered too many goals. I said it so many times. If you want to be champion, you cannot be open like that, especially when you lose the ball. Every time they lost the ball today and, and Everton went on the counter, Zabaleta and, 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 and Yaya looked like they couldn't follow the guy on, on the counter, especially on the goal of, uh, of Davis when he does that thing. Yaya looked like he couldn't follow him anymore. But uh, there is something that's happening at the, uh, at the minute uh, uh, with Man City. They need to sort, sort it out because it looks like they might not be in the top four. Manchester City's biggest defeat since 2008, but one of Manchester United and Liverpool here, where we can hear from both managers, Jose Mourinho, and first, Jurgen Klopp on the young man he throws in here at Old Trafford this afternoon. What sort of game is this to give Alexander Arnold, just 18 years of age, his <laughs> Premier League debut? Nice, eh? Uh, no, it's a good, it's exciting, of course. So, of course, obviously, it's a difficult, it's a different game, huh? I read the notes in the program a second ago, and the first time that, I, that there was nothing about welcome to Liverpool or something like this. So that's the first thing, and then I want to have a coffee inside, but in the can was tea. So, um, <laughs> so it started already. Yeah? So, but it, it's all okay. Yeah, it's still football, but we, we are ready for it. This is an emotional day with the world watching. Are these days different? Are they special days? You know, in the end, when the game starts, I don't think so. When the game starts, I don't feel any any difference but uh, before performances but we have also responsibilities in our behavior you say you're ready for it 